Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of the tank build challenge. Now in the last video we checked out the first 5 of the top 10 most voted for creations and there were some really cool tanks there. Now in this video we're going to be checking out the next 5 of the top 10 most voted for creations and these look awesome also. Now along with that we will be announcing a winner at the end of the video so definitely keep watching to see who has won this challenge. So with that said let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation. And starting off the first creation, we have the STB-1, and this is a Japanese main battle tank. It looks really cool, I like the design to it. Uh, it seems like it has some very weird looking suspension. It's going to be quite interesting to see how that works. So it looks like we've got three separate tracks here, which all do something. But very interesting design to this. Really pretty cool. Okay, let's jump on it. So we've got some cameras here, got little turrets, gun... Some flares, lasers, and things there. Cool. So it looks like we got a hatch to get in there and another hatch up here that we can use. So let's try this top hatch. So we can jump in here and there's a seat. So these would be the rounds, I'm guessing. Looks like we got some equipment. Got a hose that goes up and then a little monitor there. I'm guessing we need some electricity. So let's go and see is a key switch. So let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's go back up and let's see this gunner here. So we got the turrets. We can of course left and right the turrets and then up and down. Oh, this moves inside. That's really cool. Like that. We can make that go up and down if we need to. Let's put it relatively straight. Uh, cool. We also have a fire button. So what does that do? Let's come back in the seat. So the actual gun moves back and then looks like there's some exhaust that comes out there. That's pretty cool never seen exhaust come out of a gun before here and then we have some more rounds more equipment and then the driving seat so we've got a couple monitors here very nice looks like I'm not too sure what the zero is there we also have parking brake spotlights campers infrared lights interior lights road lights flares Starters, we don't need those. I don't think we've got everything on. Manual override for throttles. Uh, hydraulic. Okay. Suspension override. Hmm. Okay, so you can actually tilt the tank. Remember it was leaning forwards earlier on? So we could tilt it forwards if we wanted to. That's pretty cool. And you can tilt it backwards. That's Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Let's put it back to normal. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Parking brake, we can get that off, which is two. High speed mode, which is one, so we'll try that out later. Gun stabilization, fire gun, and then six is nothing. Okay, so let's see how well this drives. We're going to take it into the course. So far, pretty good. Suspension looks good. Steering looks quite straightforward. Let's throttle up here. Oh, big nose up over the first mound there, in through the water and out. Pretty straightforward, actually. So this is pretty cool at the back. Let's see how well it does through the cones here. So I'm going to take it quite slow. I'm going to go through the mounds here. And let's see. Hopefully don't get stuck on any of the cones. And we're going to go through here. Stop. Hit D for rotation. We're going to try and rotate through this. So far, so good. Nice. Okay, we're going to angle out, straighten out. Okay, next we have the dirt mounds here. We need to get over those. So, look at that. It's doing quite well. See, definitely the suspension underneath is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And that's where it's really coming into play, that suspension parts there. Okay, great. So that did really well. Let's go and turn around these cones. Okay, I like the exhaust coming out the back. And let's do another little rotation here. Then we have a little bit of a ramp and then we onto the bridge. So let's hit the ramp. Very clean, cool. Okay, onto the bridge part now. So this is where we have to do a little bit of precision driving. So we're gonna try and get it straightened up quite a bit here. And let's go up onto the bridge. So far, so good. We're going to try and keep it nice and straight and level. Looks pretty good there. Nice and easy. 
off the bridge and then we got a little bit of a higher speed we got a little bit of bumps here that we need to go over let's hit that i'm sure the suspension is going to do a great job with this yeah look at that spot on cool let's head off through into the high speed zone and this is where we can put it onto high speed mode so we're going to do one so that actually gives a lot more speed wow we're really going now over the jump nice and then off to the finish line nice look at that tank's done a really good job i like the suspension part where you can move the suspension around i think that's a pretty cool feature but the creator has gone and added to it. it takes a little bit of getting used to i think but um i guess you could even put the nose down a little bit more but yeah really cool definitely like to see this one updated when we get weapons dlc here in stormworks but that's it let's go and move on to the next creation and moving on to the next one, we have the Challenger 2. Definitely a cool looking tank. I think this is the one that we used for the intro of this challenge. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to do a great job. Now, I think the creator has updated it since we've obviously done the first video of this challenge. But it seems like we've got a little bit of a peephole here where we can see out. Also a camera. Got some angled flares and things. Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go and see if we can jump on this. So it's got that desert type of camera scheme going to it. That looks like some white hatches here at the top. So what do we have when we get inside here? So we've got some, what I'm guessing would be shells here. Uh, we've got, ooh, let's jump in the seats. We've got a padded seat with a little bit of a monitor and a screen, a range finder too. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, zoom in, zoom out, stabilization, traverse left and right. Okay, so that would just be the whole turret itself. Okay. Little stabilizer. I've uh, got another seat here, which I'm guessing would be for your reloader. Okay, and then we've got the main gun here. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's go and close some of these hatches. I can, there we go. And then we've got the driving seat here. Handbrake, ignition, and that's pretty much about it. We've got reverse flares and lights. Okay, so let's get that on. Do I need to, there we go, so that's on. And then we've got lights in the front, very bright. Okay. Cool, so let's see how well this one does. So let's head off. I'm slightly worried about the turret. Because that turret is quite long. I guess we could... And uh, yeah, the turret might be an issue for us. So we'll have to see, we might put it to the side. Let's go over the first one. So let's see how well it handles this. Okay, so straight forwards at the beginning. Over and up, nice. Still coming out the back, very straightforward. Okay, let's head through the cone section. So we're gonna slow it down a bit. Very smooth so far. Great. Okay, into the next section where we're going to do a full rotation here. Okay. Very clean so far. Just rotating ourselves around. And then we'll head through to the dirt mounds in a few seconds. Cool. Steering is really good. Okay, let's go through to the next section. So, dirt mounds. Straight forwards over that. Next one. I don't think there's any active suspension on this tank. So, it is struggling a little bit with some of these parts. Oh, come on. There we go. Almost... Oh well, it managed to do it <laughs> at the end. <laughs> okay, so I managed to get through there. Let's go and rotate it through here. Rotate again. And then we're gonna go through to the little bit of a ramp that we have. Straight over, nice and easy. And the next section is we have the bridge. Okay, so let's go and rotate. So far we haven't hit the turret on anything, which I'm quite surprised at. Okay, so up here, pretty straightforward, try and keep it on the bridge. Full speed out. And then we're on to uneven terrain, a bit of a higher speed area. Straight on, try and keep it level. That's just gliding on top of there. 
very nice okay and then straight on high speed part and we have the ramp here I'm guessing it's, this is about our top speed that the tank can go at Ooh, that was a big jump there straight through and then onto the finish line so really cool um as not the fastest of tanks definitely not the fastest of tanks here um but really cool steering is very precise very easy you can pretty much keep it on on the line like we did with the last episode i think it's you know very important to have good steering in the tank and you can see this one definitely does have that so very good job on this one to the creator really nice let's go and move on to the next one for the episode and moving on to the next creation we have the british mark 4 tank very interesting design to this one i like it very clean very minimal you can obviously see we have the uh, turrets on either side we've also got this over here which guessing that's a log they would use that to drop in front of them so they can go with trenches and things if i'm correct with that um, apparently the crater has marked some things inside here with some interesting facts about the tank so we've got a little hatch here at the back what does this lead us to okay so this brings us into the tank okay uh, we've got some temperature rpm looks like an aircraft engine some shells uh, and you can see there's a question mark here so i'm not too sure it's not meant to be like a notification or something there we go two six pound guns mounted on the sponsors okay cool and then you can actually move the turrets left and right very nice some more shells and then we have the same on the other side uh, and then looks like we've got the driver and the passenger so let's jump to the driver got some info here as you can see cool okay and then we also have here great okay so parking brakes ignition and then raise lower front hatches okay so those are these ones see out okay that's pretty cool close those off very interesting so we got a uh, reverse left track left track brake okay so we've got brakes and things high and low gear we got release um okay so we cannot okay so you got you can release the log at the top uh which i'm guessing as they say don't you can drop before completing the course okay so we could drop that now if we wanted to that log at the top so that's six to drop the log. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, nicely detailed, but just very nice. And I love how the creators use the tracks. I think the tracks look absolutely spectacular around this. Cool. Let's see how well this thing actually does. So left and right steering is actually one and two. This is going to be interesting. Oh, So, two is for break, through four, reverse left track, and then four, reverse the other track. So this is going to definitely going to be interesting in terms of trying to get this to do to work. Okay, let's go forwards. I wonder if we can actually just drive over this log. Probably could actually. Okay, so four to turn. Let's go forwards. This might take a while. Um, didn't we have high? We also have a high and low gear. Okay, so that's a better gear for us, I think. Okay, so once you get the hang of it, I think it's, it's going to be okay. Oops, no, we need to get it into low gear. Let's get it started again. There we go. Okay, so I also have to change gears, which is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's go forwards. You can hear now it's like limited. Okay, so we'll have to like line this up almost perfectly. There we go. And then put it into high gear. Okay, through here. Is it going to get water in this engine? I don't think so. Okay, off to the next section. So four. So you get up over here. <laughs> Look at that spot on okay uh let's go and get five so high speed mode cool so we're gonna hit through the next section and do a complete rotation so that could be quite easy actually because we've got the individual controls 
So yeah, I'm just hitting W and 4 at the same time. And it's just doing a perfect little spin around. I really like the tracks on the outside here. That looks so cool. Okay, so then into the next section. So cool. So straightforwards there. Over the first one, no problems. Second one, no problems. Third one, nice and easy. Oh. Fourth one, almost. Come on. Put in low gear. Yeah, no issues. Cool. Yes, that's that is high speed mode. <laughs> okay, over the jump, nice and easy, and then we're gonna switch it back into low gear for well, the next part. So one to turn over the bridge. The bridge is gonna be quite interesting actually. See how well it does over this. Well, let's rotate, 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 rotate. Straight on. Let's put it into high gear. Nice and easy. Awesome. Okay, let's go and turn back down to low gear. I think the greatest that also that I think in real life this has a crew of like eight people, which is absolutely insane. I think eight people squashed in here doing all these different things. Cool. So we're on this part now. We should be able to get our high speed or high gear mode on. Shouldn't have to change that again over the uneven terrain nice and straightforward there very easy and then into the high speed zone where it's it's gonna take a while <laughs> to get through the high speed zone it's a really cool tank though I think the crates has done a great job just keeping it nice and simple nice and straightforward Controls, as I said, take a while to get used to them. Once you get used to them, it's fine. Cool. Over the little mound here. Through the trees. This thing must, has, must have quite a lot of talk to it, I think. Considering how the engines must be quite limited. But really cool. Well, we're about to get to the finish line, so we'll just speed it up here. And then over the finish line. So really a very interesting, very cool little tank. I like it. I don't know, it's it's fun. It's fun to to play with. Um definitely a fun fun little tank and really pretty cool. The crate's done a great job with that. I really like the tracks on the outside. Looks really cool. Great, let's go and let's move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next creation, we have a Space Marines Predator tank. This is a Warhammer 40k tank, really cool and bringing a lot of back memories for me. Um, definitely got that boxy kind of Space Marines tank vibe to it. it looks really cool. Tracks is using a small tracks. I might have wanted to see the large tracks on this. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they'll do perfectly fine. Looks like we've got the turrets on either side and the main turret at the top with some flares there also. Got a ramp here at the back for, I'm guessing, your troops or space marines to come out from. But let's go through here. Can we close that hatch? Yes, we can. Cool. Okay, what else do we have? So we can go through here. Looks like I've got some things around here. We've got a door. Okay. And then we have just the turret. And then in here we've got secondary operator and driver. So secondary operator. So that looks like the side guns. Yes, it is. So those are the side guns in there. And those would be flamethrowers, in theory. And one would be to turn it on, if I'm correct. I'm guessing we need to maybe have the tank on to get a bit of pressure out of that. Could be wrong. You can also attract them. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can put them up if you need to. We might need that for some of the challenge parts. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, got some beautiful little screens. Let's go to the driver. So another screen here, and this is for the main turret at the top there. Okay, ooh, it actually moves those at the same time. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, what else do we have? So we've got uh, Lumen's exterior, so lights on the outside. We've got lights on the inside, off, instant mode. Hmm, try that later. Camera IR, uh, controls, and then we've got silence. So that's all electric, and then parking brakes, speedo, countermeasures that confuses the radar so it looks like a radar system here 
Disable the radar, radar aiming. Ooh, okay, so you can do your aiming, can disable that for now, and then mute warning sounds if we want. Okay, cool, and we got the screen here. Uh, what else do we have? So let's go and see how the wheel drives. So we're gonna go forwards. Seems like it's in like an electrical mode at the moment. Oh, there's the engines there. Okay, let's try and turn here. So I think we need to retract our side mounted guns because I don't think we're gonna fit through here. So let's do six and let's head off. So far pretty good. Let's go to the front. Oops, so it's quite low in the front. So we're just gonna have to pay attention for that when we are hitting speeds and things, bumps and things. We need to go a little bit slower. Let's go forwards. So the, thr the throttle and the steering seems like it's a little bit sticky, kind of. Well, not that sensitive. So you, I think also once again, a little bit getting used to, just like a lot of the creations we've been actually testing out. I think that you have to get used to them after a while. Okay, so let's head off. So through the water, no issues there. Hit the bump there again with our small little tracks in the front. Okay, so so far so good. I don't think there's any suspension on this thing. Pretty fast actually through this section. Let's go through here and try not to hit any of the cones. And turn forwards. Pretty straight forwards there. Okay. And let's go through to the next section. And slow down and let's do rotation. Okay, so no issues there with the rotation. Pretty straight forwards. I'm doing actually quite quickly. Now let's go and just turn ourselves a little bit so we don't hit that cone. Yeah, okay. So first section, yeah, no issues there. Cool. Second part. Cool. And next part, trying to keep this level and on the dirt mounds and then onto the second last. Come on, get over. We might need to reverse to get over this one. Let's reverse it back and then let's do full forwards. Let's see how well it manages to get over that. Come on. Almost. There we go. Okay, so I've managed that. Uh, let's try to avoid hitting that cone. Okay, so onto the bridge. So we're going to hit up onto the bridge. Come on. Okay, let's go back and try it again. Okay, forwards. Seems like it's getting stuck there. Yeah, okay, let's try one more time. We'll give it a lot more speed this time. Okay, let's try it again. So this time we're going to do full speed as much as I can. There we go. Okay, so I managed to get it on. Let's keep it on there. Off the bridge. Nice. And turn. And now we come to a little bit of a higher speed. Uneven terrain, try and keep it on there. Oops, I hit that nose again. So the nose is just a little bit too, it's a little bit too low and I think the tracks don't really like it to be honest. The controls for me are a little bit too, too sticky or unresponsive as you would say. Um, I think that could probably come over it once you get used to the tank. The main issue is with the obstacles here is the front part it's, it just doesn't have enough suspension to it. Um, we're going over this high speed area now. So ugh, I'm trying to do the steering. It's just not working as I would expect it to. Like here, look at the steering is perfect. What I'm going to try to do is let me take, let me put in high speed mode. Uh, it's uh, instant. Okay, so that seems like it's a little more sensitive now. But, oh, it's so hard to control. <laughs> Look at that. I'm not even trying to do anything. It's Okay. Um, I've put it back into normal mode here. Let's maybe retract the turrets. That will flip us back. Yes, there it will. Great. Um, so, yeah, it definitely takes a lot of getting used to. I'm not really happy or with the, the lagginess on the steering or the throttle. That's just once again, my personal opinion. 
um, and then the main issue is the obstacles it the front the front part with no suspension and the tracks being quite low it did have a hard time getting over those but still I love the design of the tank uh, it's a great job the crates done with the design definitely brings back a lot of magnets with the uh, Warhammer 40k design to it and the Space Marines really pretty cool so that's it let's go and move on to the next and last creation and moving on to the last creation, we have the M1A0 Devastator main battle tank. Definitely a really cool and interesting design to this one. Definitely looks aggressive and mean here at the front. Look at the gun, wow. Okay, so modded pieces here again for the turret. Really, really cool. Definitely nice looking camera scheme the creator's got going. Really cool. Looks like something can open here at the back. Winch up and down, rear maintenance hatch. Very nice. Oh, jet engines. Okay. Looks like refueling and recharging. Some equipment here, if need be, hoses and fire extinguishers and things like that. Useful. Okay. Love the attention to detail. Really nice. Okay, let's jump on this thing and let's see how this thing actually even works. So, is there any handles? There's a little handle over here and over here. So, let's use this one. We're gonna jump up there we go okay so we up here we got some cameras for i'm guessing what it would be the driver uh there's also a little hatch here for the driver Ooh, okay cool let's uh see if i can close that again let's go up to the top so i like the angled mic controllers that's pretty cool spotlight some cameras little machine gun on the top here uh and what else do we have okay so two hatches, commander hatch, gunner's hatch. And let's jump into the commander. Okay, wow, interior is pretty cool. Loads of detailing going on inside the interior. Uh, so what do we have? So we have transmit mode, cycle channel, and then radio, so little radio system. Nice detailing. Switch periscope, we've got guns. Okay, I'm guessing we need some power on this tank. So let's go down and let's see if we can go to the driver. Driver's hatch, uh, is there anything for power? Engine switch, fuel valve, electrical power. I'm guessing engine is starting up now. Interior lights, fog lights. Okay, cool. So now that that's starting, hopefully, clutch, do we need clutch on? There we go. Okay, so engine's good. Cool, let's go back to our commander and stuff. So do we have an option for there we go. So we have gun side and periscope. Okay, we can do gun up and down too. So that's just that little machine gun on the top there. Okay, switch periscope. So you can switch between different periscopes there. Camera zoom in and out. Stabilizers and smoke grenade launchers. Cool. Okay, let's get that off. Let's check out what we've got. Gunner. This is the main gunner. So we've got gun sight. Nice, using a nice monitor here. You can see the turrets. Pretty straightforward. Huge barrel on that thing. Wow. Okay, turning. Let's bring this. And stop it there. Cool. Okay. What else do we have? We have stabilization. We got uh, automatic rotating target. Okay, quite interesting. Horizontal stabilizer. Uh, IR search, IR gun mode. Weapons master arm, and then we can fire the gun apparently. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it actually recoils back in here. Cool. Let's go and turn that off and let's go down. And Terry's beautiful. All the shells here at the back. Really quite nice. Very small though. Can lock all the hatches uh, into the driving seat nice and low. Okay, cool. Let's see how this works. So we've got fog lights and we've got our headlights on the front too if we need them. Cool. Uh, what else? Interior, brake lights. Periscope stuff, all the engine stuff's all good to go. Brakes are off. Uh, cool, let's see how well this thing actually drives. So we're gonna go forward here. Very cool. Love the detailing at the back there. Really quite nice. Okay, so looks like it's got some speed to it. Cool, let's go and turn here. Hopefully the turret doesn't get hit when we're doing some of these obstacles. Okay, let's go forwards over the first part into the water Oop. off to the next out of the water 
Very cool. Let me like see some exhaust added to this. Okay, so through here. Stirring is a little bit, once again, a little bit laggy at some points, but actually it seems... No, it seems alright now. Okay, here is fine. Looks like he's using some wheels there for suspension underneath the tank. Let's go over here. And then we're going to go into our rotation. So, rotate. It's going to go back a little bit, then rotate. Very nice and clean so far. Okay, so then off to the dirt mounds. Okay, speed up. Wow. Okay, we just jumped over like everything. Oh, there goes the turret. Okay. And come on, full throttle forwards. Let's see if we can get over this next part. Oh yeah, no issues there at all. Come on, wheels. Come on. Oh man, we're having a little bit of a hard time here. Let's reverse off. And uh, let's go over. Nice. Okay, so that was pretty easy. I love the fuel cans at the back. The fuel cans look really cool. Forwards, forwards. Go, 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 go. And oh, look at that. That was cool. Great. Okay, next is bridge. So we're going to lined up on the bridge. And rotate, rotate, rotate. Straight on, up. On the bridge. Try and keep it on. There we go. Come on. Let's back off a bit. Let's try again. So up. There we go. Okay. Fine. Cool. And straight on on the bridge here. I think the steering is fine actually. I think just getting used to it for a bit. Um, then you're good. Okay. High speed. Uneven terrain. Look at that. All the suspension underneath it doing all the hard work there. Very good. And then over to high speed area. Next is the jump. <laughs> awesome. Oh, are we going to flip it? No, we're not. Okay, cool. And then over into the finish line. So really cool. I think, yeah, the steering is, is fine once you get used to it. Um, speed is pretty good on the tank. Beautifully detailed on the outside. And the interior is absolutely gorgeous on this. Really pretty cool. I like this one, but I like a lot of the tanks too. It's really cool. So let's bring them all back and then let's go and finally choose a winner for this challenge. And finishing this challenge off, of course, it is that time where we need to choose a winner of this challenge. Now, there's been some amazing creations. Some of them have had a few flaws here and there, but overall, these top 10 that have made it through are really cool. I love some of the designs of these, very unique and it's absolutely amazing the number of people that submitted their creations for this challenge. It's beautiful to see these awesome creations going up over onto the workshop for everyone to go and experience and obviously play around with here in Stormworks. But of course, it is that time to choose a winner for this challenge. So we're going to go through a few of them, um, kind of highlight some of my favorites from them and try and limit it down to at least the top three. Uh, there were some issues with some of the tanks. Uh, I did have a little bit of an issue with the steering when it came to this one over here. Although I loved the interior and I loved the exterior on this one. I think it really, really looked amazing. Um, same goes with the Space Marines one. Um, I wasn't really happy with the steering and the throttle. I just felt like it was a little bit laggy uh, and unresponsive. And we had a few issues also with the front uh, lifting over some of the terrain. But once again, I love the styling to it. And I think the creator did a great job uh, with the turrets and things on the outside. I think that really came together well. Uh, what else did we have? So this tank here, the SSI one, did really great with steering responsiveness. Really, really good. Uh, the little lifter also, or the recovery tank, once again, really fun uh, to play with and drive around. I think the crate did a great job with the detailing, especially with the mud on the outside. That was really cool. It did lift up a little bit in the front and the back when you were driving it, but if you get used to it, it was perfectly fine. Uh, what else do we have? This one did a really good job. Turning what's spot on, acceleration really good, very smooth and just a very clean design on that one. Uh, this one was very interesting. I, I think I thought it was really cool. You know, lifting up in the front, lifting up the back. That was really cool. Very, very unique design on that one. Um, great job with the Japanese tank. Challenger did once again also a really good job on the Challenger. Um, really good job. The little British Mark IV, man, that was a that was a learning curve. That was 
that was a very interesting thing not the fastest but obviously very realistic in terms of its speed uh, it was definitely a learning curve trying to use one in four to turn instead of w and s very very interesting um i'd love to see the interior maybe a little bit more detailed uh although really cool i loved how the creators put like little tags of information uh, that was really cool and obviously having this little piece on top where you can drop it off uh, that was also a pretty cool little tactic there uh, and then on to the last tank once again once you got used to it it was perfectly fine detailing is i think i'm probably going to say that detailing on this is one of the best out of all the creations that we've seen uh, in terms of the interior and the exterior it seems like it's got a lot of cool systems on it too but we need to go and choose a winner so that is the time for me now to go and announce a winner for the challenge. So before we go and announce it, I obviously have to give a big congratulations to every single person that obviously went and submitted their creation for this challenge. There's, as I said, over 130 submissions, which was absolutely incredible. I love to see so many people getting involved with this community challenge. It's absolutely great. And I can only see military themed vehicles becoming even more popular here in Stormworks, obviously with Weapons DLC coming up in the next few months, I'm sure people are going to be building much more military themed vehicles here in Stormworks. But as I said, time to announce a winner. So I think I'm going to have to go and give it over to the Devastator tank. Um, I think the detailing just really blew me away. All the tanks did really well with the courses. Uh, there was a few that, that struggled a bit here and there. Personally, I think it's just the Devastator just went one step over. Uh, and the interior was really, really beautiful. And I think everyone can agree that this is probably the best tank that we have here for this challenge. Uh, really, really cool. Absolutely love it. It wasn't just about the course, as I said at the beginning of this challenge. Uh, it wasn't just about the course or how fast it went through the course, but it was everything from the build to the creation to how well it performed, how well it steered, how well it looked. Uh, and I think definitely a big thumbs up so guys i think that's what a great place to end this episode and this challenge off with uh thank you once again to everyone that did submit their creations for the challenge and also for everyone for voting for their favorite creations it's been a lot of fun obviously judging this and hosting it here on the channel definitely keep an eye on the channel for future challenges coming we will have another one coming out in the next couple days slash weeks uh that will be coming out so that will be a lot of fun also and it's going to be a little bit of a different one here in Stormworks than what I've already done. So if you haven't already, make sure you obviously hit that subscribe and that little bell icon to be notified about my future videos. If you enjoyed this challenge and had fun with it and enjoyed watching it, definitely smash that like button. And until the next one, we will see you then.